What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Alabama hiring Travaris Robinson to be the corner pass coach. Uh, I think this is a home run hire. Uh, he's a very, very good recruiter. Uh, prior to coming to Alabama, he was the Miami's uh, cornerbacks coach or DBs coach. And um, with Manny Diaz being, you know, fired and they bring in Mario Cristobal. Uh, he wasn't fired. Uh, he was actually retained, but he decided to come to Alabama. So uh, he's a great recruiter, guys. And as a matter of fact, I have some notes that I jotted now. Uh, he's originally from Miami, so he knows the area very, very well. So this is going to be a huge pickup for us uh, in recruiting out the state of uh, Florida. So, And while he was at Miami, he was either the primary are the secondary recruiter for three of Miami's top 10 signees for the 2022 cycle. And all three of them was four stars. So that should let you know that he's a very, very good recruiter. And I also have some more notes on his, uh, his background. You know, he's a Will Muschamp, you know, assistant. So he knows Will uh, Muschamp's system very good and we all know Muschamp is a former assistant of Nick Saban, so they, he probably has a lot of the same concepts that he would apply here at Alabama, and I can see why Nick Saban went out to get him. But he's very decorated uh, recruiter and good, well coach uh, guy. So while he was at South Carolina, you know he was the DB coach, and he was also the defensive coordinator there for I think it was from 2016 to 2020. So. Uh, he had his experience. That was his only experience being an offensive coordinator, but he's, he's, he did a phenomenal job while he was there. And while he was uh, at South Carolina in 2017, the Gamecocks led the SEC and ranked ninth in the nation with 28 turnovers for us. So he did a really, really, really good job there, guys. Um, and he mentored uh, the cornerback J.C. Horn, really good player. Um, you know, he went on to be a first round dra uh, draft pick. So very, very good uh, guy at developing talent. And um, while he was there, he also recruited Jordan Birch. So, you know, ace recruiter. And then, you know, he was at Florida, you know. He spent five years at Florida from 2011 to 2015 as the defensive back coach there. So more experience in the, you know, coaching DBs. And in 2012, Florida ranked number two nationally in pass efficiency defense with 95.5 and allowed seven touchdown passes compared to 20 interceptions. So there it is again, guys, you know, coaching up the defense. So, and while he was there, he recruited, you know, guys like Vernon Hargraves and uh, Tease Tabor. So, the list goes on with the guys he's developed, guys. So, and he also he's played at multiple uh, schools that I know of. Uh, he actually played at Auburn, so he's an Auburn guy, uh, Auburn alumni, and everything. And he was, I think, the DBs coach there in 2015 while Muschamp was there. So it seemed like wherever Muschamp went, he was there. So you know, you know, Muschamp was a, a phenomenal defensive-minded coach as well. So uh, I'm very excited about him coming to Alabama and coaching up our DBs like uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry and Kyrie Jackson. Um, then we got Eli Rich coming over. So it's going to be interesting to see what he does with that talent, guys. I, I, I'm very optimistic for the defense coming up this season, and we're going to really need help coaching defensive backs considering, you know, you lost Jay Vila to Oklahoma which is a, another good uh, developer of talent. So we had to replace him with somebody that had good talent and uh, good coaching pedigree. So I'm, I'm very excited for Javaris Robinson being our cornerbacks coach. You guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you, are you excited about this hire? Are you, you know, anxious to see, you know, what we do as far as the backfield is concerned with our secondary? You guys leave, you know, your comments in the comment section. With all that being said, guys, would you guys please like, share, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. 
to, so I can notify you guys for future uploads. And by doing so, it also helps out my channel, guys, and it helps me grow as a content creator. With all that being said, guys, thanks for watching and roll tide.